Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to demonstrate protrusion, retrusion, and excursion, which are special body movement terms that refer to motion going anteriorly, posteriorly, or side to side. Protrusion refers to the movement of a structure in an anterior or forward direction. In fact, the word protrude means projecting something forward. And I like to call protrusion the kissing movement because it occurs when you pucker your lips like you're going to give someone a kiss or when you stick out your tongue or moving the mandible or lower jaw forward. Now retrusion is the opposite of protrusion. It refers to movement going in a posterior or backward direction, putting your tongue back in your mouth, moving the lips back, or moving the mandible back are all examples of retrusion in anatomy. Now some anatomists will refer to that forward and backward motion of the mandible as protraction and retraction, just like I discussed with the shoulder blades in my last video. However, some prefer to use protraction and retraction only when describing the shoulder blades because it's a combined movement. For example, protraction is an anterolateral movement, whereas protrusion and retrusion are more anterior and posterior movements. And then finally, we have excursion, which is a side-to-side -side movement of the mandible. Now, some of you might remember a character named Ernest P. Whirl, which is that guy in all those movies from Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Goes to Jail, Ernest saves Christmas, etc. And if you've ever seen one of those movies, then you have definitely seen the excursion movement because anytime Ernest would see something gross, he would go, Ew. And that's basically all excursion is. It's the movement of the lower jaw, which is your mandible, in either a left or right direction. And anatomists use directional terms to specify the type of excursion. For example, when the lower jaw moves to either the left or the right away from the midline of the body, they simply call that lateral excursion. And when the mandible moves closer to the center of the body, it's called medial excursion. And nurses and other healthcare professionals will sometimes refer to protrusion, retrusion, or excursion whenever they are documenting, treating disorders, or assessing patients. For example, in her head-to-toe assessment, Nurse Sarah asked me to stick out my tongue, which is an example of protrusion, in order to assess cranial nerve 12. Okay, that wraps up this video over protrusion, retrusion, and excursion. We have a free quiz that you can take on our website by clicking the link in the description below. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.